All right, welcome back with us at uh, Illiterate Book Club. We just got through watching episode four of the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I've tried my eyes. I haven't. Matt, <laughs> I'm doing it right. Has now. the paper bag ready in case yeah. he has to start breathing heavy again. Dude, it was a rough, it a was. rough one. It was, and I, I mean, I think from last week's ep- episode, it was so much more, I guess, intense as far as what was happening, like throughout the entire episode but we anticipated that a lot of things were going down so i think we were bracing ourselves right and this one this one was just like a gut punch with, yeah with all kinds of stuff that happened over and over again yeah and i mean just character arcs more than anything but i mean yeah. of course there were some major deaths there too um so why don't we begin with uh, some ship stuff that happened relationship oh relationship yeah okay uh, so what are you thinking maybe uh brianne and jamie Brian and Jamie, that was a solid right. fulfillment. Yeah, that was great, but um, but then not so much. Later. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a heartbreak, right, for our good friend Giants Bane. Well, not just D- that. during the party, but also like when Jamie has to leave. Yeah, that was definitely. What do you think the intent is, though? I mean, we know the prophecy. I'm I'm on the Jamie's going to kill his sister board, like yeah. that that boat all the way. I. I I mean, whether or not that's exactly what he has intended right now, I kind of right. think it is. I think he's like, he he knows he has to stop her. Yeah, but I don't, I don't like, mm-hmm. I don't think he's gonna go down there at her defense. I don't know. It's it's really hard. I mean, that's what they kind of set up for Brienne to yeah. think. Maybe. I mean, it could be that he's gonna go try to stop her from dying and yeah. try to get her out of yeah King's Landing, but. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, and it, it, sh- it showed a few moments like that where she was, you know, asleep and happy, and it was like he was still longing, and like you right, know, like he right was still in love. But either way, they and, had a, they had a few days. And I guess since we're kind of starting off at, I mean, months, even that was a big know. big thing. Uh, we're starting off um, kind of because there's some pretty intense yeah, stuff. I mean, that's it's hard not to the order most everything. intense, and believe it or not. Um, I mean, but Although Arya and Gendry, maybe Arya and Gendry, I was about to say that yeah. that was a gut punch. I mean, not right. not that we didn't see it coming. Like, I mean, right. I don't think in any way, shape, or form, any of us would have yeah. picked Arya to settle down, right, right. and become the lady of some place. Yeah. She's like, it's just she's that like, moment. She just wanted that booty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I mean, that just that moment was played so well in right. such a like, you know, he was kind of drunk. Yeah, yeah, riding on the high, becoming a lord. And he Obviously, her, yeah. she was good for yeah. him. Yeah, in, yeah. In the in in the sack, apparently. Apparently, so. yeah. Of course, you know. But either way, it was that it was that really hard moment, right? Especially if you've ever experienced that in your yeah. life of someone really wants you, and then yeah, then you get let down. And it wasn't that I don't think in the moment that like it wasn't that there was no caring between her. Oh no. And him, That's like I think, yeah. I think that there's definitely well, that some makes it love. worse, right? Right, but I think at the same time she's just not like she said. That's not me, right? And I, I just think, felt bad for him. He right. got down on a knee and everything, right? And she kissed God. him, brought him back up. No, okay, let's let's move on. That's not the most important part either. Yeah, quickly though, jump to the hound, hound and her walking away. She yeah. says she's not planning on coming back, and they're go- both got a mission, right? And do you think that she thinks she's gonna die at this mission then? And will I, she? you know, I think even if she doesn't intend to die, she's definitely like, she's not meant to be in Winterfell. She's like, right. this is not her home. Yeah. Like, she doesn't really have a home. But yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. She doesn't have a place politically in this show. She's right. a weapon. You yeah. Know what I mean, at this point. I show. mean, there's also sort of the part of me that may think she, she has an attachment to the, uh, or some kind of deeper connection to the mini face temple. Right. And maybe she'll end up back there if she survives this. Yeah. Um, and do you think there could be any, which she's honorable, but do you think there could be any scheming going on between her and, and Sansa to maybe get rid of the queen? The, the dra- both know. queens. There rather. could be. I mean, there are, they are playing. She's, she's kind of, te- it seemed like there's a team up between her and Sansa. There has been for the last couple seasons. So it's, it's possible. It's possible. And now the hound, you know, are are we going to see a showdown between him and the mountain in the next? That's episode? what they're that's what they're teasing, rather. That's I kind of hope so. Like, yeah, that would be an epic battle. That would be, but at the same time, with the, what the mountain is at this point, I don't know oh, how you yeah. beat it. You know, what that's I mean? true. It's just crazy. Okay, so let's let's jump right Shoot. along. Um, 
So we're next. Uh, uh, well, the 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 big two deaths. Yeah. But the big one that comes first, first, the dragon, the dragon, golly, that was a, that was a shocker. It was a shock, but at the same time, I felt like something was about to happen at that point. Yeah. But I I, mean, it was, I I thought she was going and I was wrong, but I guess why I was anticipating it was because I was wrong. I thought she was going up to King's Landing right away and I was thinking, golly, she's, you know. Yeah. How are you not prepared for an attack at King's Landing? Right. I was like, are you crazy? And then, but she wasn't, she was at, uh, is it, uh. Dragon, Dragonstone, or yeah, I think Dragons. Uh, so somebody will correct somewhere. us because yeah, yeah. you know we, we don't memorize names. We can I'm read. sure y'all we, correct we us very politely because that's what the internet's full of, right? Exactly, with love and concern. <laughs> um, but she's she's at her original base at, at Westeros. Yeah, and then it seems like yeah, she, that's a natural place to rally and then prepare for land King's Landing. But right, the Ironborn are there, and that's just demolishes them yeah demolishes their ships gets mascendi 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 something 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 of that that nature i don't speak high valyrian um but uh no i'm that's that's like the turn of tides i mean i guess you have to set up the tension right there Um, have to have a load to get the rise right um and then uh we'll kind of save a little bit well i guess we'll kind of have to go back to go forward here you know, Daenerys begging Jon Snow. Right. And, and that's really, I think, the biggest part of this episode. Right, because it leads into the rest of right. kind of what no, they no, might Not be only, like, up. that scene with her begging him and giving him an opportunity to, you know, to spare her, I guess, the situation that she doesn't want to happen, which right. is her and Jon Snow competing for the throne. Right. But it also leads into Sansa... And Arya finding out the truth, right? And having that choice. I mean, even even Bran tells him it's his choice. Yeah, it's your choice. You know. And so he had he had opportunity, but I think you know John's sort of mo is the honorable thing and family. Yeah, family is family. But at the same time, I don't know. I feel like with what he his learning his i guess i feel like his north star throughout all this show has been his what he thought was his father ned stark and if ned right. stark could keep that secret to a certain degree why couldn't he you know and i yeah. think it's i think it's almost because the narrative needed it rather than just a character arc cuz i feel like even though he would do the honorable thing that might not necessarily be the honorable thing in that situation you know, or maybe it's just a miscalculation. At least that's how I view it a little bit. Yeah, I mean that. That's I think it's partly true, but I also, you know, think John's the kind of person, and maybe it's you, Pinky Promise. You won't tell them, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> you swear, you yeah. swear, you swear. Yeah, but everything that Danny said, you can already see it start to unravel that way. Yeah, I mean, she was she wasn't wrong in her all. paranoia, but it. There's more at play there, right? I mean, right. you know, was she be was she wrong to be paranoid? You know, should she, you know, consider that's, him? I mean, that's the trapping that, of a I paranoia guess, state right, right, is right. that you know, it, if you're afraid of something happening long enough and it happens, then you feel vindicated for being paranoid, even if it's kind of the reason it happens is because of your paranoia. Right. It's very self fulfilling prophecies that you're seeing uh, come yeah. true, and I think that was the biggest heartbreak of this. Not even just over to the deaths; it was just like to just divulging her because we've always you know seen danny as you know we've seen her story arc where she came from and the things she's done right. and you know and you know, we love john snow as well or you know whatever he's called Aegon targaryen at this point but we've loved him as well but at the same time we don't want to see her we've always seen a glimpse of that madness but i feel yeah. like this is pushing her further and further down yeah. that that psycho psychology yeah you know, and uh, it just... Well, I think it's kind of, I guess, her overall story arc throughout the whole series has shown that, you know, she started off as this very meek person. Right. And every stage, she's she's kind of revealed those Targaryen traits, so to right. speak. And up to now, it's been all positive, right? She's Well, she's always been winning. Well, and she's always been fighting degree. definite enemies. Right. Right? I mean, when she was in Easter, she was fighting slavers. 
yeah. and just like horrible people. Right. And then when she came into Westeros, her first acts were to attack the obvious enemy, the people yeah. in King's Landing. Right. And now attacking the people, the the white the Night Army and the White Walkers. Yeah. But now that that's all over with. She's, I think what she has not learned or what she hasn't shown is the subtlety of, you know, kind of what they, you know, what all the people like, uh, we had that great toast by Giants Bane, mm -hmm. you know, what does he say? He says all those Harmark things of like, he was willing to die. He was willing to turn enemies into friends mm -hmm. and then die for those new friend enemies. Right. And, and then he's seeing or witnessing them. Yeah. And then it's, I think, you know, she was fixated on them, like crowded around cheering for him. But missed the content of the fact that like he showed this unassailable ability to f be a good person, yeah, and to put his life on the line for people he cares about, and for the greater good, mm -hmm. and that's what I think we end up seeing with, um, Ver Varys, Ver yeah, Varys. There is the spider, right? Who sees that, and sees that Danny has shifted her mentality from right freeing people and doing the good thing to solidifying her, her yeah. rule, her kingdom. Like she's, she's really fixated on what is belongs to her, what she, she owns or what she's earned. And I'm not sure if he's still playing the game a little bit. It's hard to tell with him. Cause maybe right. I feel like his character. Yeah. He's been a, you know, he's like you said, served how many Kings now. And he's always said, Oh my, my allegiance is to the realm. My allegiance is to the realm, but it almost makes you feel like he's could be betraying Tyrion there too. Yeah, like setting him up for the oh, you want to put up Jon Snow? Oh, he Tyrion came to me and told me Jon Snow. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then like right. he, it just feels like he could throw that. I, I hope that that's not where they're going with that. Uh, but I, I guess kind of like what he said. I mean, he did straight up say to Daenerys. He said, you know, you, you told me to look in your eye if you were ever making a mistake. This is a mistake. Don't become what right. you're trying to destroy. And so. she's she's pretty blatant about, like, justifying herself right. in what she's doing. And that's I think that's what's the scary part for him yeah. and what gives him, is giving Tyrion real concern. Because, uh, you know, he doesn't want to turn against her. Right. But he's seeing that, too, that, that sort of crazy streak of... Yeah. You know, and that's the problem is like it's it's a legitimate streak of, you know, she's become paranoid. She's and not for no reason. Right. But, you know, at what point do you stop yourself from doing what is a terrible thing for, you know, what you think is a justified reason? OK. I mean, so where do you think uh, John's going to go? I mean, if da Daenerys is kind of spiraling into that madness like where do you see that character arc going yeah i think that's going to be the hard choice yeah in the in the future episode i mean they're going to have this fight but yeah john's gonna not want to turn against her i think his right. hand's going to get forced yeah because i almost i almost feel like it he's gonna see that she's gonna literally burn down the city and right. that's gonna be questioning he's like that's always that's already kind of came to his question of saying when Sam posed that to him in the very beginning, you know, you know, would you have killed my, my family? They had surrendered or whatever. You right. Know? And so I, I don't know. It's like a part of me thinking, okay, well, yeah, this might be, it looks like they're, that's where they're showing the threads of where this is going. And Game of Thrones usually subverts expectations, but at the same time, this, this thing only has two more episodes. It has to wrap yeah. up. It's, so how much can the more you pivot at this point without right? Like, you know I mean, it's, yeah. So there's maybe without barring something extraordinarily dramatic, right? Kind of pivot. Uh, I mean, I I don't see this shaking out without Danny and Jon Snow being at odds with each other. Yeah, and and having to have that right really have out. And at this point, they really set up for everything to be against her. Yeah, they they were kind of they kind of did in my in my. Uh, opinion and I, I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna go. I, I, I don't yeah. know if, like, the, like that that little shadowing thing. My my family's always done bad in the north. You know that was kind of crazy. Uh, or King's Landing. Or King's Landing, yeah. rather, uh, not the north, the south. Yeah. King's Landing. Um, really, I guess quick point, and then we'll kind of go back to that because it, it'll lead into what we're 
I guess our final, you know, top three. We had Tyrion. He's making his plea to to Cersei. I mean, to be real, I thought that could be the end of him. <laughs> that was a tense scene. That that was like, I mean, yeah, every ballsy. Archer, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, for the lack I mean, of a better word, just, you know, ignoring the hand and just storming, right. watching past her to just stare up at his sister at the wall. And, and like, I just, to me, I guess it just it shows that she does not want to move against him herself or any of her brothers. She hired people to kill him. Yeah. She wants him dead. Right. And but she's, she she's won't still scheming. be there. She's still doing the scheming thing. Right. She is. But at the same time, it's like, you know, what benefit does it for her to have him helping Daenerys? Like if she kills Masinde or, you know, right. Right. Like why not just knock out her hand too that knows her the best? Yeah, you know. So unless she does have that emotional attachment to him, I, it I didn't think, make yeah. sense that much. For uh, me. I don't know. For me, that it may have been like a power play in the sense of she she did exactly what her messenger said she would do. Right. You know, if if she had if she had attacked Tyrion directly, that might have been a more outright provocation to war. But she sent out a message that said, if you don't surrender, I'm killing this one person. Mm -hmm. And she stuck to that. She stuck to her guns on that specific thing. And maybe that's sort of, it's still playing her hand in a way that tries to maybe not make her look out to be right. just bringing on the yeah, war altogether. Yeah. She, she's not, she's provoking, but not provoking in a way that's, you know, I don't know. It's it's a managed provoking, right. pro provocation. I guess. Yeah, I, but I, it was still very intense. I, oh, yeah. I I could see see that going one way or the other on that particular uh, yeah, situation. I, I I'm with you. I honestly, thought that Tyrion might have died in that moment. Right, just by reaching out one last time, having being an optimist when he was used to be the cynic, right. cyn cynical one, and um, so that was a huge moment right there. But I mean, looking at the future, kind of going towards the next episode. Um, I mean, the battle looks fairly even, and I guess they had to do that. But I mean, the dragons almost look like they're I mean, out of it. I, I think mean, it's what can they really yeah. Do I think it's even they've tipped it towards Cersei's a little side. bit. She's in a castle. She's she's got the high ground in the sense of she's in the keep. Right. She's got she's got she's surrounded herself with innocent civilians. Right. Which means any hostile move against the city itself harms them is going to be bad right. well i mean their plan is to take siege basically of it and have the people turn right. against them but at this point you know with the last ending of my sunday dracaris you know the like burn it to the ground basically right. is what she was saying and then you the, know well then you have the problem of the entire it looks like the entire surrounding wall is, right. is covered with those dragon slaying yeah it machines. looks like she's about to be Mad Queen, you know, and yeah, I mean they're both. That's I guess that's really the the thing I'm curious about is if Danny is going to have a some kind of like reveal, like a an aha moment, saying I I need to find another way to do this, or I can do this without turning into that the Mad, you know, yeah. Queen, you know, right. and and giving in to sort of those. Targaryen yeah. curses that have plagued and that caused yeah. her family to fall. Yeah. And I, even yeah. just not becoming like Cersei. Yeah. In the that's process. That's true. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, it's very it's very hard to see where it's gonna go from here. Uh, but that's the nature of this game. So yeah. our here it is. What well, well, here's our ending <sighs> spot. Your yeah. top three people to sit on the Iron Throne, okay. episode four, where we at? So start with number three, least likely, and go down the line. Number three, the least likely. Um, so we're going to have to do some shifting around after the last couple yeah. weeks. My least likely, but maybe still in the running, is... Um, hmm. I'm actually going to go with Danny on this one. Number I three. I think she she's in the running, but I I don't see it as being as likely right now. Okay. Um, so Danny John's out of it. Then. Danny and John together is definitely shipped, don't just gone. Okay. It's it's not happening. All right. Uh, the second I would give a little favor to John. Okay. And 
basically Sansa taking over as warden. You know, I, at this point, I, I, I guess it's me like wanting to see that like extra pivot. Right. Like, because it would seem natural at this point the way they've set it up to say Danny gets pushed out or even killed in the in the battle, and or even in a showdown between her and Jon Snow, and then Jon takes over. Like, right. that's an easy thing to see. Maybe, like, Drogon actually taking his side over her. That would be weird. Yeah. Because remember or, the eyes. Well, and... Like, that could have been, like, a misrepresentation. Of a little bit. Character. I mean, even if she, like, if she tries to burn him and he isn't burnt, like, he's a Targaryen, so maybe he has that ability to right. withstand fire and that maybe, come, yeah. comes out in some way. But either way, I, I still think it's leaning towards him. And that was makes me want to say, if I see that, I want to see the extra pivot and say that, you know, maybe there is no one on the Iron Throne, and Sansa is leader in the north of its own kingdom. Right. And it's sort of these desperate places now. So it's kind of like a United or States. Or if it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or if it United is a, un- if there is still, if there is someone on the Iron Throne, I could definitely see a Sansa, maybe a Sansa Tyrion yeah. partnership. I guess they honestly don't have much claim on that. Oh, they have no claim. But right, if right. everyone else who does have claim dies. Right. Then. Who claims it? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I you mean, know, I mean, kind of, uh, Braun kind of placed that there. Like, who, who, who were your ancestors that made that? Right, happen? the cutthroats, yeah, yeah, the if people. You kill, who, if you kill one man, you're this. If you kill yeah. ten, and again, I mean, that's thousands. that's something that's been in the wheelhouse of of this series and of this story well, the, arc. It started with the usurper, as Rob. yeah, of or Robert. Well, not only that, but of like those little bylines and the right, side right. characters who you don't expect to be important. Right, end up playing bigger roles. So, okay. yeah, maybe the whole thing restarts with a another leader of all altogether. Okay, so um, you're taking top three. You got Danny, John number two, mm-hmm. and then Sir Satyrian Sansa, or Sansa, Sansa Tyrion. Uh, Sansa by herself, maybe Tyrion's there. I I'm not convinced that Tyrion's going to survive. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent on that. I mean, I I think it's a shame because I feel like. You like to see him. I mean, he's well, yeah, he's, he's, he's been the great character. But the problem is, I feel like, you know, as much as I hate books here at Illiterate Book Club, I feel like after the they lost track with the books, right? Then right, right. they've kind of lost track of the character. And we were kind of talking about this earlier. If they stick the landing with the character, it won't be for naught. You know what I mean? Right, It'll be yeah. good that okay, yeah, it looked like he fell and he wasn't wise and whatever the case may he, be. He's lost his uh, edge. He lost his mojo. Yeah. But if he comes back in the end and he is the clever one or he is the whoever he is, then you know, then the character arc makes sense. If he just winds up dying tragically, being foolish, then that's. I mean, yeah. oh, granted, this this show's never been necessarily about. Uh, happy endings okay so uh quickly my three who you got um i don't think danny's on it yeah you don't think so Mm-mm. so who, who are you going for number three Jeez, I, I know it's tough isn't it i don't even know if i have a three i yeah. mean I, I i don't know like to be to what? be real i guess this could be cheap but for number three i would almost i put cersei and danny in a tie at this point you know, and I, I don't. I think Deadlock. Cersei's gonna die, but I really don't think either of them are likely to have it. Oh, okay, but I just don't see that. You yeah. know, uh, I don't see this ending with Danny and and John loving each other and making it happen. Right. And it, it's it seemed rushed, anyways, to to me that whole love story. Like it just wanted to get to the. Uh, they, right. It's like they set it up just to have the dramatic p- turn. Well, know? yeah, and and that last season where they introduced their. Love it. They're, like, yeah. even, even when they just met each other, right? They they skipped a lot of time, right? And so it didn't really develop. It is, yeah, it didn't know. quite develop. But I think they they were kind of shoehorning in there just to make this this Maybe. last thing more dramatic. Yeah. Uh, number two, I think I met Sansa Tyrion. I think last week I had Sansa number one. Sansa Tyrion. I mean, is either as a just Sansa or just Tyrion. But number one, I feel like they're really setting it up, and granted, it could be just to set it up just to make him die. Dramatic. But, yeah, dramatic there, too. It, it looks like at least where the story is pointing us at this direction, and with only two episodes left, is Jon Snow. Yeah. Who didn't want it, the person who kept denying the throne, who yeah. kept everything. He gets the throne, and then you have Sansa, of course, Warden right. of the North. And that's... And then, I honestly you know, like I I'm, I'm on there with you. you know I had my number two but that's that's where it gets me too because he is 
he's a little too perfect for the throne. Right. I almost feel like I, I, I feel like that's where the story's telling me. And that's, that's where I would like to see to a certain degree. Right. But yeah. at the same time, it's I'm like cautiously optimistic right. about that situation. I completely understand. And that's I'm it's like I don't you. want to get my heart uh, my heart I'm, into it. I'm 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 really with you there. But it, really that's what makes the most sense to me at this yeah. point. I don't see them just the throwing fact, the fact up that there. he would be the best king makes right. me think that he won't end up being king. Yeah. Because one of the best that ever made it up to that. Well, I mean, and especially and in granted, this world yeah. that's been built. Maybe I am times. wrong about, you know, maybe I'm underestimating Danny, which we've done a lot in the past. Uh, maybe she is going to be the Mad Queen, but straight up be, be yeah. at the well, throne I, and be, lose who she was in the process. You know, I'm, I'm not going to put it past him to, to throw in a turn where she she proves herself noble in the end. Yeah, maybe. And, yeah, we'll see. I hope so. Well, um, We'll, we'll see where it goes. When we find out, we'll tell you. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we'll be back here uh, next week uh, with uh, the uh, Cinco. Cinco? Uh, the, cin- the Cinco? This was the Cinco de Mayo episode. But but it was only the fourth episode. So it's the Quattro. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, but we'll be back with the fifth episode and uh, the discussion and kind of uh, talk that mm-hmm. we have. Uh, semi-review. Uh, we actually have a commentary going up. It's kind of a surprise one. I hope you guys will like it. Uh, and more of these reviews to come. Yeah, absolutely. More movie reviews, more TV reviews after game of Thrones. Uh, we have some ideas of where it might go, mm-hmm. but we appreciate you guys sticking with us and girls. Um, subscribe, yeah, like, and subscribe, comment below. Let us know everything yeah. we got wrong. <laughs> absolutely. And if you want to see our take on anything else, yeah, give us some give ideas. Give us some ideas. We are open to shows, TV. <laughs> Love me. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, just no books. Uh, yeah, no books, please. Don't make me read. Okay. (laughs) See you later. Bye.